Hey guys, it's me, MJ Studios, and I'm gonna bring you another Lego Star Wars review. I know this it's been a long, long time since I made a review, but this time I'm gonna bring back um, a whole bunch of reviews since um, I didn't do that too many reviews. So you know, sorry for that, but yeah, some new ones are gonna come in. Yeah, some new ones. Yes, new ones will come in. I got a few things to review. A lot, some things. I got something that's old. It's coming up soon. <coughs> okay, so yeah, let's get started with this review. I mean, okay, for okay, this is called the Lego Star Wars Battle of Endor, the Battle Pack. Like, I mean, uh, and I don't Rebel Endor Rebels. Uh, okay, I'm so sorry, but I forgot the name, but. I'll tell you it in the description, so if any of you kind folks want to comment on me, or subscribe, but yeah, okay, so, you know, enough distracting, okay, well, actually, and I'm just mixed up, okay, so, <laughs> alright, now, um, the price for this is, um, you know, wait, yeah, you me, yeah, the price for this is, uh, is yeah 12 bucks yeah, and that's uh, I just want to discuss a little bit with it well with the price because of the price to me it's just I mean these battle packs now on are just they're getting more expensive and then maybe next year it'll be thousand dollars which just sort of like the worst thing ever because like I think we all missed those 12 I mean <laughs> ten dollar sets ten dollar paddle packs and i you know kind of miss that because you know it's just that it's not that expensive because now well now the lamest thing ever is that the prices are uh high they're very high and you know you want a set that isn't that uh, like super high you know like uh yeah, you just don't want to set that's like the highest thing <laughs> and the highest thing in the world. But yeah, okay, so the so thing I'm gonna check on something first. Um, hold on. Okay. All right. Uh, now we can get back to the set, and its price is twelve ninety nine. Four figures, a speedle, and its um. Its set number is nine four eight nine, and its ages is six to twelve for the children, pretty much. Yep, for the children, and yeah, for the children. Ooh, little big happy. Okay, yeah. So, okay, yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah, and the pizza count is seventy seven. I mean seventy. Yeah, seventy seven pieces. Nice little pieces. Uh, I like pieces. Okay, so let's start with. Alright, let's start with this, these awesome rebels. I'll get to the stormtroopers later. Okay, so. Uh, okay, for, first about this is, uh, this, he didn't have this pistol. I just gave him so a new pistol. I gave a, a few guys different pistols, so sorry about that if you want to see the real thing, but it's a different pistol. So, yeah, okay, so. He's a pretty nice figure. He has a lot of detail. And for any of you guys that got the set or just, you know, haven't got it yet or something, well, if any of you have it, uh, have you know, you, sh you should, have you even noticed that, like, these guys have peach hands? Like, um, I'm not sure if those gloves or, like, part of the thing or maybe printing's wrong because the whole guy is just green, like that guy. And so, yeah, any of you would like to please comment on there saying why wow, their hands are so peachy, 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 like. And yeah, so please comment on there. On down there. And so, yeah, um, he's a pretty nice figure. He has a cool hat. Nice little, um, hat. And when you twist it this way, it kind of looks like a face. You know, when you, I'm, like, saying, um, yeah, put two dots there. Yeah. And yeah, he has a nice little if he smelt at a face absolutely just about to focus um yeah that's best then here's his torso his back hunting
nice little back printing. Just camouflaging too, you know. And his nice uh, little jackety Jack. Jack. Let's call it the Jack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Jack. Um, Jack. Oh, uh, uh, jacket. So yeah, let's put a nice thingy. Some little code numbers, and he's green, and he has a jet. I mean, I don't know. I forgot how you say it, but like a little thing inside. Oh, uh, who cares? Um, next is um him. But before I go on to him, I have to do a few things. Like little, like a few things, my you guys. And uh, I'm just gonna go set something up. Uh, hold on. I'm just really sorry, but I had to. Um, I have this new camera thing, and it's just kind of getting odd. And yeah, it's kind of getting just trying to get the camera controls. I'm um, sorry, it's so blowy though, because you know it's kind of blowy though, but. I'll have that fixed up later on. So, anyways, this it. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the thing. I mean, uh, set soon. Next is we got a nice um endo endo trooper, and he's nice. What I like about him is he has that bullet vest type of thing, bullet bullet thingy. I don't know. Peach hands, PG PG. And he uh, little vest there, oh, nice little detail that Lego would do that. Some well sometimes they kinda cheat out as usual sometimes, but no, no no no. And he has that green type of thing. And he has an India Jones face. Pretty nice thingy he got there. Sorry for the green on there. Oh, oops, sorry. Yeah, and I just know, I also noticed that, you know, you can buy a whole bunch of these battle packs, and this is really like a battle pack. Like this. If, if you want to, you can make an army of these guys. And you can basically put on the. Oh, 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 uh, helmets, which is sweet. I'm so, I'm so sorry for all this blurriness, but who can really. Uh, okay, so, yeah. There's a rifle. I like your little rifle. Lego doesn't isn't good at making rifles. I mean, seriously, like the mini figs for you store, little armor shop, and those things, customs. Well, they do a great job. Uh, like uh, mini figs for you, who is owned by David, the one, the guy who hosts um Starbuck Studios, and yeah, yeah. Also, you should go subscribe to him. I'm a big fan of him, so you should probably go check out his videos and subscribe to him. It's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> <coughs> Next is Stormtrooper, and uh, he's pretty cool. And finally, we actually got a new one. I think this is like the third version, but yeah, he's pretty cool. A nice little vesty desk kind of thing. Vest desk thing, my jiggy. And yeah, he's pretty nice. I like the Stormtroopers though. And yeah, it's a nice thing. And yeah, back the same as um regular clone troop. Uh, uh, like a regular clone troop, just like this. If you can see, oh uh, right. If, uh, 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 you can see it's. I'm sorry, it's boy though. Wait, maybe it will come out better. So, sorry, we're not out of control. What is it? Ooh, ooh sorry, stuck super wet. So, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. And we got a nice. <coughs> take off his head. It's kind of. I stuck him on the hard, but okay, so. This nice little head. It's pretty darn nice, I have to say. Oops. And let's stick it back in there. There's that kind of like a jingo fat thing, but yeah. I hope I can get a hold of those. Uh, if you hear all that noise, that's my sister. Um, I hope I can get a hold of all the uh, 2013 sets. I'll get a hold of them. They'll come out maybe August. Or one of them I know will probably be in July, though, because 
Next is the Scout Trooper, and I like Scout Troopers because they're pretty whale. I mean, you can't really find them. Uh, unless you want to pay a hundred dollars, or go pay like five hundred dollars for this on Amazon for this set uh, that came out in the nineteen seventies. It's like the full, one of the first sets that ever came out in Lego Star Wars, and so that's a nice rifle pistol pistol thingy. And um, he actually has a pistol, but I replaced it with this thing. I like these better. Yeah, let's put that down and let's go. Look at J. Alright, so I just had to do that. Um, this is kind of this is uh, really opposite to the storm people. In fact, this is more like a camping type of thing when you think about it. Camping type of thing. So yeah, when you think about it, uh yeah, nice little vest thing, little pocket. There's no back printing. Sadly, I was kind of disappointed. I wish they could have put a little bit of back printing. Uh, so I like his um, nice little helmet. It's not. It's um, kind of. Sometimes I wish it's like the Elf Trooper, where it's all like faded in. It's like not like the like this clone troop. Huh. Wait, uh, yeah, like this clone trooper. Like, like just like him so yeah they didn't have the shade like this this is not included though so yeah um yeah he's pretty nice and also he has the same face but i twisted the bell to be the black one because it looks cool it's supposed to have like a mask on and the couple of eyes was oh uh, like a helmet just like the stormtroopers so well, there's a helmet on it's black shades but you get seeing it. Well apparently in the movie in episode four, Luke pretty much when Luke um when they when Han Solo, Luke and Chewbacca are going to take out Leia, apparently I mean free Leia from her uh, little prison cell. Apparently you can't really see out of the stormtrooper masks. I mean I mean helmets. So, um, yeah, and he has the same face, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like with, um, like this. I don't think it looks too good, though, so that's why I, uh, switch it like this. Well, you know how to do it. And, yeah, so he looks cool guy. And, yeah, so that was a pretty cool figure. Alright, let's get to the set. Alright, here's the uh, set. And here is the, oh yeah, hold on, let me move my little lights up. Okay, so here's the speedle, a nice little speedle, and it's pretty cool. I really like it because I never really got a speedle. I only really got the Battle Pack one in 2009 with the half type of Battle Pack, but yeah, it's nice to have it. So it's really nice thing to use, and it has a, what is that pedal at? Uh, well, it, had a, it has it's the same detail. It doesn't, uh, for some reason, I lost my pail. I know I lose a lot of things, but because I'm a careless little boy. But so, well, um, though, my other review, um, uh, it's the uh, other review, um, I got this from the Star Wars convention. If anybody went there, I got this at the Star Wars convention. Another thing. It's a standard, so um, I'm actually gonna have to host um, probably three figures instead of Fox. For some crazy reason, they didn't have Commando Fox, and they had Spider Girl, alright. But yeah, it's uh, it's the mm, yeah they had it alright, but yeah, you know, uh, so so really sorry. But who cares? Um, who cares? I know a few. I know some guys who haven't reviewed it, so this kind of would be, I would sort of be like the first one, we in a way to review it in the, this time, because I'm sure nobody reviewed it yet, except for the new Spider Droid, yeah, okay, so, here's, <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> okay, so, yeah, excuse me again, so, yeah, here's the little, uh, control pad, I use my shade, and you can stick the figure on here and put, uh, <clears throat> you can put his hands right on here, 
Um, if I could stick it in there quickly, yeah, there it is. Uh, kind of bent it, but oh well, really, who cares? But yeah, there you go. And it looks pretty cool. And yeah, a lot of it's kind of play, a uh, nice play feature because you know I uh, well sometimes I like to play with it like <laughs> it always makes that noise. I like <laughs> like that. Some um, kind of funny stuff. And so yeah, it also comes with a backpack. I like backpacks, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice little backpack. I never use it or anything. I'm just gonna leave it there until it becomes dusty. Matter of fact, it's actually dusty right here if you can see anything. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice design. Really like these speedles. And again, a view of it in the back. It's just like the snow speedle on half. Just. Uh, no, not the rebellion speed, or just the uh, imperials type of one. Oh well, yeah, except this one's the regular standard one. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nice little football thingy, my jiggies there. And let's move on to the uh, thing, main thing about the set. Now with this, this is a pretty cool thing. It's, this is like a little tree. Let me put the camera. Um, there's a little tree here. Which is really nice. It's really nice, it is. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that, but I just can't resist that. I have those two nimble thing things on here. Like moles on here. And here and here, when you think about it, you can make a face. What? Yes! Okay, yeah. Enough of that. I mean, we want to get into some awesome things. So, yeah. Um, here's, and this is like a nice uh, thing. This is useful too. Like for the Endor thing, if you're an Endor fan, well, episode 6 fan say and this is a good set to buy because you know this has leaves and stuff just like Endor and it's like a or Kashyyyk if you're an episode 3 fan or just a Kashyyyk fan or you want to make a mock with that Endor or Kashyyyk you can use this just depending which one you like it's not, just don't like uh, it's just your idea if you want but yeah uh, the cool part is the tree I really like that tree and I like all the grounds pieces. And nice little gates, so just in case Stormtrooper comes like way too close, they kill, they probably won't see, and he'll yeah, probably trip on the ground, and he will probably die. <laughs> so, but, um, next you got these really cool plants, uh, plant things right here. Right here where I'm pointing to, you got these nice little plants. Ants. And yeah. And then you got a flick fire missile. And um I really don't like flick fire missiles. They're really terrible. They're like the worst things ever. Well, I'm not saying the worst, I just I'm not a big fan of them, but you can flick them. Just like this. Uh let me flick it uh let me just move the camel out and flick it. Oh yeah, I just knocked up the guy's head, but Sometimes when you think about it, flick fire missiles could be fun, in a way, just depending how Lego does it. Yeah, it's, it's a big hit with kid, little kids, I, I'm guessing, maybe, because they keep bringing them back. It's, they're like, they're like a, they're, new, uh, they're kind of like a disease or something. They come back, and they just don't want it to stop coming back. But yeah, some nice little plant pieces, flick fire missile. And it turns all the way around just like this. Like a 360 degree, you think. And it's, uh, if you want to, you can have some fun. Uh, go ahead and blow up some speedles. And it's really meant for the speedle to go like this. With the uh, general guy. And he's supposed to stand right here. He's going to, if I could stick him in there. And he's just going to be aiming right towards him. So since the speedo can't stop, it doesn't really help. <laughs> so um, it's supposed to be whoop. He unexpectedly flies right in front of a man with a, a giant, really lame thing. And yeah, he just blows out of the sky. And yeah. So yeah, this is definitely. I'm sorry, but I don't have the box. I know it's kind of annoying, but yeah, I'm sorry. But next, yeah, I'm sorry for that. But it's a nice thing to have. 
Yeah, so yeah, you should definitely go get this set. This is a pretty cool set. I mean, I mean you should really get it. It's nice to get, really. Uh, even for the 19.99 thing. Uh, I mean, 12.99, sorry. Uh, it's still a good thing. Even though they, yeah, they, like, increased the battle packs, it doesn't really matter. As long, it, I mean, it just doesn't matter because of this. I mean, this is a very good thing. I mean, if you want to make a Stormtrooper army, just get this. If you want to get a Stormtrooper, just an Imperial army, just get the, you can just get this. Oh, uh, yeah. And this is just like the custom things. Like, say you're like, going to buy a decal paper, then you can customize him. And him. Also, these guys are good for Marines. Uh, they're very good Marines. Really good Marines. I can't believe I just pulled out that flick fire missile. And yeah, that's this is a really good set to get. And yeah, um, so yeah, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, and also can you uh, try to please share now to expand my channel. And yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Bye.